Imagine a supply chain where every decision is driven by real-time data, where you're not just forecasting based on averages, but reacting to actual customer orders and shifting conditions as they happen. That's the power of order-based planning in SAP IBP. It's not about predicting in bulk, it's about planning with precision. If you want to know more about this little-known way of planning, join this McCoy TV. Hello everybody, my name is Carla Gomez and I work as an IBP consultant at McCoy. During my professional career, I have seen many companies struggle with more complex or dynamic supply chains. They are not flexible enough to handle sudden changes, they rely heavily on forecast accuracy, leading to overproduction or understocking, they are not able to manage the complexity of dependencies between locations, or they lack the granular visibility into specific orders challenges that could potentially be solved by order-based planning. In this session, we will explore order-based planning in SAP IBP and how it differs from the more traditional time series planning. Let's begin by understanding the difference between time series planning and order-based planning. Time series is the most commonly known approach within SAP IBP, since it is present in most of the modules. It is fundamentally based on aggregated data, where demand, supply and inventory levels are forecasted and managed in terms of periods, such as weeks or months. In this approach, planners focus on forecasted quantities for a given time bucket, but not necessarily on the details of the specific orders driving these numbers. It's useful for long-term strategic planning, where the focus is on overall trends, averages and quantities. And common use cases include demand forecasting, inventory optimization, and supply planning at a higher aggregate level. However, time series planning may not always provide the granularity and flexibility needed, especially when dealing with actual customer orders, dynamic lead times, and dependencies across locations. Order-based planning, present in the response and supply module, steps in to fill this gap. In contrast with what I just explained, this planning method works directly with individual orders that can be integrated from and to your ERP system, allowing for more detail and precise planning. It considers the relationships and dependencies between these orders by pegging the supply to the demand and giving the option to confirm and deploy them. It is more suitable for operational and tactical planning, where the focus is on short-term execution-based decisions. Having said that, we also have clients that use it for long-term planning, as pegging is vital for them. This approach is often used in environments with high product variability, complex lead times, or a need to balance customer service levels with production capacity. The key difference is that time series aggregates demand and supply into time buckets, while order base works at the level of individual orders and products. As a result, it allows for more granular, flexible and reactive planning. Curious about the features that order-based planning offers? Then keep watching this episode. And if you want to know more about time series planning, don't miss the video of my colleague Tim Penson. Now that we've established the differences between time series and order-based planning, let's take a closer look at some of the key features of order-based planning in SAP IPP. The first one is real-time planning. Unlike time series, which often works in batch mode, order-based normally operates in real time. It can continuously adjust planning based on new master and transactional data, providing up-to-date insights for quick decision-making. This is crucial for industries with fluctuating demand and dynamic supply chains. Don't hesitate to check the episode about real-time integration made by Brandon Janssen if you want to know more details about it. The second one is that supply planning takes orders into account. Synchronizing the flow of products and materials along the entire supply chain and balancing supply and demand is crucial for order-based planning. As part of it, the supply plan creates a feasible purchasing, production and distribution plan, checking priorities with a finite heuristic or cost-optimizing them with the optimizer. Orders can also be allocated and confirmed. After the run, planned received elements considering all constraints are created. The system dynamically adjusts orders, production schedules and procurement plans based on resource availability, such as raw materials, machine capacity or labour. Order level visibility is also key. Order-based planning allows you to manage your supply chain at a very granular level. Instead of just dealing with forecasted demand or aggregate supply data, it lets you see and plan based on actual orders. On the one hand, 
apps like projected stock and supply usage provide insights into how specific orders are packed to the supply and drive the demand, or how they impact capacity. For example, if a particular customer places a large order, you can immediately see how this impacts your stock levels and make real-time decisions to adjust production or procurement. On the other hand, the Gating Factor app highlights obstacles preventing timely fulfillment, showing why certain orders aren't being planned. Another important feature is deployment planning. There can always be last-minute orders coming in or supply being delivered late or not at all. That's why the deployment algorithm makes sure that demand is satisfied with already existing supply elements. Previous paying relationships are rearranged and distributed again, taking new priorities or costs into account. Transportation load building consolidates and optimizes transportation loads by grouping requisitions without altering the supply plan or considering supply chain constraints. It creates efficient loads of products between supplier, plants or warehouses, taking variables like weight, volume and physical size into account. Introduced in the SAP IVP 2408 release, characteristic-based planning models product variations, for example size, color or quality, as attributes, streamlining the master data model. This ensures demand with specific characteristics is fulfilled by the appropriate supply making it useful for managing product diversity, compliance and regional customization. And last but not least, order-based planning also includes automated exception handling, alerts, and the ability to model what-if scenarios. So, order-based planning in SAP IBP offers a more granular, flexible and responsive approach to supply chain managed when compared to traditional time series planning. By focusing on individual orders, integrating real-time data and incorporating all constraints, SAP IBP order-based planning gives companies the ability to optimize their operations and respond quickly to changes in the manual supply conditions. I hope this presentation has helped clarify the importance and benefits of order-based planning in SAP IBP. Leave your opinions, questions or remarks in the comments below and stay tuned for the next Makoi TV if you are interested in learning more about SAP IBP. Thanks for watching and see you soon.